Hi guys, Roll from Simple Wi-Fi here and today we're talking to you about the 24 dBi parabolic grid. This is a very directional 2.4 gigahertz 802.11b G and N Wi-Fi antenna. If you plug this into your USB adapter, it's going to help you receive signals from far away. If you plug this into a router, it's going to help you transmit the signal uh, to a very far away point. These antennas are very directional, like I said, so it's 7 degree radiation pattern coming out in front of it. So if you're not within a 7 degree cone in front of this antenna, you're not going to see any signal. Now the trade-off is that once you're locked onto that signal, it's going to be very strong and you're going to have a very high throughput. All right, so let's talk about reach. Uh, this is the most common question that we get, how far can it go? And it really comes down to env environmental factors like transmitting power, receiving power, elevation, and clear line of sight. Wi-Fi is heavily dependent on line of sight. So when you're aiming this antenna, you definitely want to try to get it as high as possible. Uh, for example, we're on a roof today, and this would give me the best vantage point to any house around here that was going to let me use their signal or to a fast food place that's down the road if I can get even higher. Uh, elevation then helps you get throughput so you can maybe see that signal but unless you have elevation you're not going to get any actual usable internet so it's very important to remember that. So now let's talk about cables. Uh, cables are very important because this is what connects the antenna to your radio. Your radio being a USB adapter or a router. Uh, if your router has detachable antennas, then you're going to want to look for that gold connector. That's the SMA type, and you'll be able to transmit signal through the antenna. Most USB adapters, high power USB adapters like the Alpha, are going to have that gold connector already, and you can plug it directly in and receive from far away. So on the antenna side, we're going to use N type. The antenna has an N female connector, and we make cable assemblies already uh, with an N male. On the other side, you're going to have an SMA male RP. This is for the connector. You want that, re that transmitter or receiver, which is your radio, to have an SMA female RP. And this is pretty standard in the Wi-Fi world, so if your antenna uh, comes off of your router and your USB adapter, chances are that you're going to be able to connect an external antenna like the parabolic grid. When it comes to choosing your cable type, there's 400 type and 240 and this just determines how much insulation is on that cable. RF is very lossy, so as you run it through a long cable, you're going to lose signal on that cable run. You want to go with the thickest cable possible when you're going over 20 feet. Uh, for example, here's an L400 type that we sell and an L240 type that we also sell. Both 20 feet, but look at how much, uh, how much thicker that this, one's, this one is and it's gonna help me save at least. If you're really worried about size then, the 21 dBi 2.4 gigahertz antenna is really the way to go. Uh, it is slightly less directional, but still gonna outperform almost all the antennas on the market. This is a 13 degree radiation cone compared to the seven with the 24 dBi. So you're going down three dBi and the radiation pattern is almost doubling, but it's still 13 degrees. That's very directional. And it's only about the third the size. Everything else applies, the connector types, the directionality, the pointing, how it works with USB adapters or routers, all the same thing, but just a smaller package. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments down below, or you can email us at support at simplewifi.com.